All right, good day, and we're here once again to dish out the biggest entertainment stories. And of course, the weekend just went by real fast, by the way, so you know we got enough juice. I've got the squad, Quincy, Mother, Family, Jones, and the delectable yeah. Ife Omai. How are you guys doing? Well, thank you. Oh, he was your mouth open. Do you think I was going to say something else? Uh, no. My mother's family is Jones. Yeah. Cool. You didn't mm -hmm. know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, how was your weekend? Great. Actually, really good. Well really rested. good. What did yeah. you do? Mm, Saturday we went to Lighter's um, listening mm. um, for his Are You Sure? You say we. Mm. Yeah, yeah, my friends and I. Oh. Yeah. No. So why were you, oh, okay. was it lit? Yeah, it was really fun. And the song oh. is hard. Emma Gray and Nara Mali featured mm. on us. So all the Malins were there. It was really fun. It was at Boulevard. Mm. Um, and then Sunday did proper work. Mm. Like, you know, strategize for the week. Done just work. Okay. So we strategize for the week and all of that. Mm. Well rested. I slept very early, so I woke up very early. Looking to work very early. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that was really nice. Yeah. So Quincy, how about you? I was drunk all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Appreciate I just wanted to, you know, let go. So you're drunk all weekend. So you know what? We'd be all night. I might still be, you know, just a little. We don't support, we drink responsibly. We drink we don't, responsibly. We, we, we don't support drinking. drunk responsibly in all weekend? Yes. yes, I drank responsibly all weekend. Yes, you can. That's mm -hmm. it. That's what I did. So, um, drink responsibly and uh, make sure you're the age of 18 to drink. If you're not and we catch you, we'll report you to your mommy and your daddy. So, <laughs> you already know. Absolutely. All right, so moving on real quick, we, we have um, our first story, which is still on the Grammy Award winner, you know, the recent, the recent Grammy guy. Well deserved. And of course, 23 video is dropping tomorrow, so you need to stay tuned to Plus TV Africa. We'll be the Come first on. to be showing that video Come to on. the world, period. Like yep. the, if how do you say it? Period. period. Yeah. We'll be the first to show that video to you guys. Yeah, you could probably see it later in the day, but we'll be the first to show it to you on the show tomorrow morning. Yes. And um, yeah, so Grammy Award winner Bonner Boy, I slammed those who denigrated him and prayed for him not to win the biggest prize in the global entertainment industry. The singer took a swipe at his critics on social media barely a week after he won the best global music album category with his twice as tall album at the 63rd Grammy Awards. So, to him, what do you guys think about this? <laughs> Why don't you look at me like that? Yeah, because you go first. Look, okay, okay. Um, very Burner Boy, I think. I, think. I, like, I like the writer of this time. Yeah, I mean, it's... He said, what you don't know is that if I win, you win. Which is the truth. Because we're all celebrating now. Our president also jumped on it. Let's put it, let's put it into context, okay? I don't think anyone necessarily prayed not for him not to get it. Charlie Ladipo did. Directly, she said it. She said, I pray it doesn't. I hope I can get that tweet. But he said, he said I pray he does not win. Because? Because of his arrogance. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm, Well, that's what I was trying to allude to. Like, it wasn't that people were saying, you know. I mean, in context, yeah, it's still an extreme thing to say, but we put it into context that he was being very, you know, focused mm. and was having a bad attitude about something. I can't remember now because there's too many. And then people were like, ah, oh, this kind of person, if you get a Grammys, then your brag will even be so much that we won't be able to talk to you anymore. That was the context in which I saw people saying, maybe this guy shouldn't actually get a Grammys. Not mm. that it wasn't deserving or that his music wasn't good enough or whatever, mm. whatever. Um, so, yeah, I think in that context, it's a bit different. Okay, yeah, um, this girl, I don't remember, um, Shadila Ladik Bozo, that's a bit like extreme to mm. say, I pray you don't get the Grammys, but I'm not gonna lie to you, when when a boy starts, I also feel some type of way in in regards to um, more accolades given to him because he doesn't allow us to rest mm. about it. Like I remember when, I think it was until a, a few, maybe a few more, a few explodes and tantrums later that I started to study this guy mm. and just say, is, this thing is actually not based in anything. Like he was screaming one time on social media as to how like, most people shouldn't have international recognition. No, we shouldn't get we shouldn't get signed internationally. That it's a scam and all of that. And that was when Tiwa Savage performed and got signed at Universal or something mm -hmm. like that. And then a few moments after, he also got signed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he also went and took it to Twitter. So those kind of things. At first, I was thinking, okay, maybe we should take him more seriously with his threats and all of that. But I, I, I just think we should allow Bernard Boy to do what he needs to do. Understand that that's just his personality. Let, let's enjoy his music and not wish evil for him. Is what I would say. 
Mm. Righty. And um, going to what's your take? Uh, it's pretty simple, man. Everything he says from here on out is right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's going to grab me, bro. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily doesn't, Everything is right. right. Everything. Mm, right does. Doesn't Go necessarily. No, um, what do you call it? I, I, you know, if I you did found see, Zimbona these days, one see, would think it's your neighbor. Not these days, bro. Not these days. One would think it's your Like, when you come out and you say, good I've morning, my neighbors, you'll be like, yeah. say, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been about, I've been about Bernard for quite a while, actually, you know, just putting that out there. But, I mean, um, yeah, a lot of people didn't want him to win, obviously, for reasons um, mm. if I mentioned, you know, the arrogance and stuff. But, you see, like I always say, I said this during the R. Kelly situation, separate the music from the person. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? Mm. That, that, yeah, you should actually separate the music from the person. If you're going to enjoy the music, enjoy the music. Do you understand? Do not now say, oh, because, say, Erase show that I'm not gonna call you the music. No, that's just, that's just angry. But this one, we're not separating the music. We've always loved the music. Do you think I love the, the person, the actually. Well. I love what? the person. I love the music. Just saying, but you know, in some other people's cases, you know, you could just separate the music from the person. You know, he deserves Can it. you really, should you really be separating the person from the music, though? Yeah, because. Um, I don't think so. Why not? I don't think so. I don't. I just. I don't Why agree not? to that. I think people are their music, and the music are the people. How? And you. You should. Um, you find gay guys singing love songs. I don't you know, know, to, why would I then or, separate him being gay from his music? Why would I need to do that? Him singing. A to lot of people women, do. So you have good. To that, that's a. That, you see where you just went. Perfect. How? A lot of people do not listen to Sam Smith or would mm. not give Sam Smith his accolades as a vocalist mm. because he is gay. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? But no, isn't that the reason why they cannot... If Beyonce is, sang it, it won't be a problem. But doesn't that contradict you know what, what I mean? you're saying with the fact that they haven't been no, able to separate the, him from his music That's what I'm saying. So it's the same. Saying, it does not, I'm not okay, contradicting. That means I'm we're saying not the arguing. same thing. Okay. I'm saying the same thing. You need to separate the music from the person. You, people haven't separated the music from, from the, the person. person. That's why they won't listen to Sam Smith. But they listen to Sam Smith. Yeah, some of us do. Now, I'm even talking about people who are not straight that sing like they're in love with a woman. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And then the music sounds good, but you have homophobic people singing that song because you can't separate the music from that person. So you love this. You probably hate this guy, right? You probably hate this. Sorry. You have to separate the music from the person because you probably hate the guy because of his sexuality because you're homophobic. But because the music is good, Okay, so I, I'm not talking about sexuality. Yeah. If, you, if you have an issue with somebody's sexuality, then I don't know your Who's issue. the person? I'm, the collective you, the whoever's that we're talking about now. Not if you're Please, not Please, do, do not refer to people as whoever's again. They're all taken. The use, the thems, the days, yeah. the it. Mm. You know. I think Sam Smith identifies as it now. Well, what is he identifying as? Yeah, they keep changing. I, 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 they I'm and them. Now. They and them, yeah, that's it. And just because I identify something doesn't mean I own that. But let's not go to that conversation. Because I know saying? there's no point having that conversation. What's that, in the day and them thing? Anyway, my point I think it's really, funny, by the way. when I say, when you say don't separate the person and the music, is that people ha have to be held accountable, right? So if I see an artist that is contributing negatively to society, like it's hurting people, Mm. Exploiting children mm. or whatever, whatever. I don't think it's then you you have to say that we should exploit. We should separate I they, them. I think you I think got you take have the to... moment I mentioned R. Kelly. Huh? I think you got to take the moment I mentioned absolutely. R. Kelly. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. That's, that, that, that's where. So that's what do you think about that? Cancelling oh. culture. You know, Basically, when, yeah. that's that's what, what it is what's about. That? Cancelling culture. What well, what's the cancelling culture? Now, when you cancel um, someone who's being bad, basically. You know, no more. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't agree. All okay. right. I don't, I don't we, agree. We, we really need because, to move Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Mm. Do not get upset. I Because I've been able to separate the music from the person. R. Kelly deserves a billion year jail time for mm. his actions, to mm. be very honest. Mm. But I'm not going to now, because of that, not now listen to uh, I'm the greatest, the world's greatest, and some other classic R. Kelly music. Maybe not Never. as maybe not, maybe, maybe, maybe not as maybe that. not as individualistic as that. no, maybe not as individualistic as you listening, right? Because mm. you don't have an impact that much. But now on grand scales, it's like so we're having an say what? you don't have an impact that much. I have a huge impact. Not really. But, but we'll talk about that. Not later. really. Not as much as if we played it in I'm the studio. What impact are you guys really talking about? You no, no, she, huge she, impact, she, true shit actually. No, that's what I'm trying to ask you. I do have. What impact are you actually talking? Because you said I have a huge impact. Actually, so I do. As in, like, to the person's, to the, to the person's um, to me, success yeah. or whatever. Oh, okay. But, like, when it comes to, like, big skills, let's say we have a correlation or we have, like, a huge whatever, and then the people there are now playing R. Kelly's songs in, like, in that kind of space and all of that. What is wrong do with you that? Know? No, I think there's something wrong with that. Why? 
Because you have to take responsibility for the fact that this person has made... Yes, he's in jail. That's taking responsibility. Mm, How about the music? The music has nothing to do with it. Mm. Mm, I don't agree. So, oh, I'm a pedophile. Oh, I'm a pedophile. What's that? No. Mm. No. What? I was just uh, trying to make an R. Kelly song. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we need to move into the next story. And this one is on, you know, our favorite celebrity couples. You know, I saw a few posts that, you oh, know, some... Huh? Burnham and his couple. Grammy? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they can't be dating, man. They'll uh, break up soon. Don't you think they'll break up soon? You are just a bloody hater. No, yeah. like it's... Are you going to break up? Can you with break? a Grammy? Yeah. If it's yours, isn't it yours? I'm sure Kanye okay. can. Okay. I'm sure Kanye yeah. can. Yeah, Kanye can yeah. break up with a Grammy. And Burnham Boy is on He Nigeria. wants, he wants, he wants, Kanye. he wants to... Uh, Anyways, yeah. we need to yeah. move on. Yeah. Our favorite um, celebrity couple, Sarity, and of course, our boyfriend, you know, one of the Migos. Um, they broke up via Twitter on Friday, March 19th, and she actually dumped him publicly. In a series of tweets shared via his Twitter, the rapper, a member of the group, Migos, called out his former girlfriend, I know you want to make this into a show, so I'll, pl I'll play my part just this one time. I don't normally put my business out there, especially my personal life. I feel the need to address this so there are no false narratives. He tweeted, I have love for you and disappointed you did all that. You're not the woman I thought you were. I wish you nothing but the bear. So we see, at Ellie announced that their almost three year old relationship had crashed publicly. Yes. Oh, she, she replied one of those tweets. Take care. What? Very, very good. Boss. Yeah. As in boss move. Yes. Did you see did you see Bam. the artwork? Did you see the artwork? Uh so Drake has this album called Take, Take Care. Care. And then they took out Drake and put Sawiti there. <laughs> that was it. Oh wow. Take I'll care. Take care. What? My brother. But mm. we love we love them quite I don't it's so too. painful. Uh -uh. But see, see, all these people they're like Okay, I saw I saw a series I saw a series of tweets, but the one that caught my attention the most was, you know, people were talking about ah your mother and your father they've been together for twenty seven years and you knew they no problem, no tears, no this thing. But the moment these people broke up, he said there is no love anymore. We are all not safe. <laughs> there is no, there is no, so they are not asking, what happened to your father and your mother? <laughs> they are not no, they are not good role actually, models. Do you understand? <laughs> You know? so, uh, it hurt me. Yeah, it hurt <laughs> the, you. the relationship did. I mean, I I I thought they were one of those couples. I think I'll put them next to. Mm, let me not put them so that. The uh, were you going for Beyonce and Jay Z? No. Oh, okay. That's, uh, that's excuse far. me. Are you blind? That's very. That far. is a very like it relationship. Their legs. Well, Offset, okay. Offset, and no, Cardi. No, Beyonce and, and Offset, Jay Z. Offset. How? Were you going for Offset and Cardi? No, that. Are you you're mentioning the bad names here, guys? I'm trying to pair them up to a good couple. Get a good creative. couple. Yeah. Officers well, and Cardi B are a good a couple. Parent. They are. How? Aren't they? How? He well, begs they her every five, five, six. Um, now, wow, now only two times the thing happened now. Oh, please. It was just twice. Oh, you don't know these feminist people. Well, yeah, you never you forgive. Know. You, so know, you, need yeah. to quit. you look so True. bad when you do that. Wow. Like, when I you look bad feminism, to you, obviously. When you, yeah. you bring feminism when we're having a simple conversation. It's like, is that your agenda? Do you really just hate no, that? No, it's just who you much? are because when you're talking about relationships and stuff as well, you guys are, are the ones with the loudest mouth. Haven't you noticed? Mm. We have a problem with us having a loud mouth. Mm. Um, I have a problem with you guys something. having a loud mouth and not being objective. How about mm. it? Yeah. And you're the king of objection. You. No, I'm, I'm not. But obviously, and I you know think a that lot of people I say know that, that I, lot I represent of every feminist. single feminist. Mm -hmm. Right? Because I say that I represent every single feminist. I've met very intelligent feminists. Okay, so then why do you bring it up all the time? Why do you bring up feminists? I'm just all the saying time? it like I've met very intelligent ones. Are you trying very to say that? Uh, well. Are you trying to say most feminists are not, you know? Intelligent. Intelligent? Is that what That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I've that met we don't, very we lack intelligent feminists. Yeah, you like, like yeah, 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 We lack objection. Do you agree yeah. that uh, the feminists lack objection? Mm -hmm. Please let me say my story, Jerry. No, 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 but do you agree? Do I'm not indulging in such a conversation. Do you agree? No, no, no. From somebody like it's you on the think. table already. I need somebody already. else that's a lot more, you know, respectful and, you know, what they, what, what they say comes out of their mouth. So you feel he does not, re, really you feel he's not justifying the feminism cause? No, I I think I don't care what he thinks about feminism. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's that's good enough. Then how, how do you feel about that? Can we move on? Can you talk about your <laughs> no, opinion on this No, but hold on, hold on. No, if Chris is enjoying this, but go on, I like, I'm also in it. How do I feel about it? Yeah. I just feel like we need to be more objective when it comes to, you know, Feminism topic and decide we're not talking about great. Great. objection is great. We're not talking about, not talking about feminism right now, feminism. and we have a guest that's waiting up, on so the line. Is, so it, is it wrong? Stick you, to your energy. Do you think it's like, wrong for you to bring up? No, no, no. I'm just saying. Do you think it's wrong for you to bring up um, uh, feminism when you feel like 
that is what's going on. Especially, no, because you asked the question about, you know, two days, um, I mean, two couples, and she yeah. was like, nah, those people are, uh, uh. Do you feel she brought you out that? Just yeah, twice, yeah, you know? Yeah. You it happened just twice. What does that have to do with feminism? If you're talking about... Um, um, uh, because every man is always trying to be bad. They're always trying to make every man look bad, especially mm. when well, you I'm the one who's lady, talking a lady, here, so why a lady are told you me, a, lady, a lady told me earlier today, says the no. majority of the, the male gender are... are um, Cow feces. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, they're, yeah, they're that terrible. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so I don't understand. Me talking about Cardi B, how does that represent the entire feminism com community? Like, why are you bringing that into this conversation? You know what? Can we, my apologies, can we go on with the story? <sighs> okay. okay uh, so do you the, accept the, the apology? Of, of, of course. You sure? Of course. Yeah. Now, does his opinion uh, count? Of course, his opinion Is he counts. Now I'm just allowed to respond to the opinion. Is he That's now what, being objective? I don't know. It's something for me to say. Well, you need to quit with the anchor and so I can actually talk. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you're about to. <laughs> so now we're just trying to say, can you shut with up? The wow. <laughs> anyway. Oh, um, I, have, I, want I don't know if you know um, Tiana Taylor. Yeah. She's she's one of the sexiest person in this life. Yes, and her relationship. I think, I, feel, I mean, for sorry, every time I hear a name, I hear fade. I see fade. I think that they are very healthy. I mean, they have Tiana very Taylor vulnerable. And, and, her, and her partner, I don't know his name now. He's a basketballer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or used guy. to be. See why I said they're not objective? Sports guy. But go on. Yeah. Like, they don't even, they don't they even don't bother know the to know as about long the as guy. She look good. You know? Yeah, it's gone. Anyway, you, I've been able to experience some of their, um, what's it called, their interviews. And I like how they're really vulnerable. They talk about, like, their issues. Another good example is Steph, um, Steph Curry and his... Stephanie, okay, okay. Steph Curry and I, his... I, yeah. uh, I thought that's what she was guys, going. Guys, honestly, you're, 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 you're making me lose my sorry, train love, of thought. Sorry, Let sorry, me just Steph Curry and... Uh, Steph Curry you know, and... And his partner as well. Yeah. I don't know her name either. Um, but you see, this... Sorry. So, is that one so how about you? Yeah, so is that At feminism? Least we remember she doesn't remember. And offset. Perfect, Jay-Z, okay, so Beyonce, Palace. So but you know, the good ones, we don't know the other partner's names. Sad, mm. sad, you know. So are you trying to say That's that not what we're something to say needs we, to be wrong? We have to go on a break right now to... and tea time, Sorry. we'll be right back okay. after this break. Okay. Stay with us. Okay.